So first off, we're going to go over hearing real quick, okay? So basically to tell how much you do understand, I'm going to ask a lot of questions, okay? So I made a sound. Okay, tell me where it's going. Okay, it's going into your pinna, uh -huh. through your external auditory meatus. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to vibrate the tympanic membrane. Mm -hmm. And then that's going to cause the auditory ossicles to vibrate. Which are in what order? In, no, no, let's see. The incus, malleus, and stapes? Wrong order. Malleus, stapes, malleus, malleus incus? Nope. M-I-S. Um, miss. Yeah, miss. Miss. Oh, malleus incus stapes. Uh -huh. And so the foot plate of the stapes is going to vibrate the paralymph, or it's going to go through the oval window first. So vibrates the oval window. Mm -hmm. okay. Paralymph in the vestibular, no, in the scale of vestibuli, uh -huh. which is going to vibrate the vestibular membrane. Vibrates the vestibular membrane. Mm -hmm. And then okay. vibrates the endolymph. Okay. That's usually as far as I get. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna finish labeling a couple things. Okay. Okay, so this is, sorry, paralymph, you already said that. On this side, what is it? Endolymph. Right here. Right there? Paralymph. Paralymph right here. Okay. It's just gonna travel through. Paral, yeah. Well, because the vibrations got to go somewhere, because eventually we convert the vibrations into an electrical signal. Okay. Okay, eventually, mm -hmm. to go to our brain. But where do the vibrations go? They get released at the round window. So the paralymph is going to go all the way through the round window? So the paralymph goes around this little point, the apex, mm -hmm. and comes back. So the vibrations in the paralymph go all the way around, um, but yeah, it does vibrate the vestibular membrane vibrating the endolymph, mm -hmm. okay? And so now I'm going to do a little zoomed up picture, okay? Mm -hmm. So right here, Before you do that, can I ask a question? You can ask a question. I'm just still going to keep drawing, though. Okay. Okay. Less zoomed in when we're talking about the scale of vestibule, vestibuli, right? Mm -hmm. That, I don't understand how it goes up and back and then gets over to here. Because this isn't this the scale of vestibuli? And then the and. Sorry, I'm going to have to see that with how you're describing it. <laughs> Sorry, it's no, you, not very You start good. saying this guy, and this guy, and Platt, you need to see what this guy so, is. So, um, you're talking about th this being in here, correct? Mm -hmm. Then how does it get over here? It vibrates this membrane. So, is it traveling like this? So... And then this vibrates, and then... So, there's multiple ways of looking at this, because what does it look like originally? Like a seashell. Like a seashell. Okay, so it's you've got this whole thing going on. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your semi circular things. So what we did is we rolled it out. Mm -hmm. The image that you're looking at is that it's cut in pieces. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So this is the scala vestibula. Mm -hmm. Random thing, we didn't label, finish labeling. This is the scale of what? Uh, tympani? Tymp? Media. Vestibula? Oh, media. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is making more sense now. And then this guy? Scala tympani? 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 Someone plays the tympani, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's the scale of tympani. Oh, okay, cool. Okay? Mm hmm. So right here, that's our scala vestibule. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is our scala media. This is our scala tympani. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Sweet. So these two guys are connected. Mm -hmm. Once you get to the end, See? they're connected. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when it is a high frequency, low frequency sound, it doesn't ever go but into the media. It always goes into the media. Always. Then how does it go? Okay. All the way out in the room. So. Sorry, so two. there's two two different ways of looking at it. Okay. Depending upon its frequency, it's going to vibrate this area or this area, you know, or anywhere in between. Okay. Mm -hmm. However, it's also a pressure wave. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the pressure wave is going to be traveling this way, even after it vibrates here. The pressure still traveling. Mm -hmm. It's just like a high pitch and high frequency, like close through the oval window, and then it becomes like you know longer waves, lower pitch as it goes mm -hmm. like for the round window. So at the base, high frequency. Mm -hmm. Okay. Near the apex, low frequency. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So that's where it vibrates this guy. But no matter what, the pressure always goes through. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Did that answer your question? Yeah. So the bass is going to be high frequency? Yes. Okay, sweet. And then is it going to be low frequency and then back to high frequency? Because it's going back toward the bass? Like toward the round You're window? saying at the bottom? This, yeah, side yeah. Isn't, this side isn't vibrating up. It doesn't. Because what happens is um, the, the vest vestibular uh, membrane, mm -hmm. um, it's a little more uh, loose, so it can vibrate, whereas the other one's a little more stiff. This um, tympanic membrane is a little more stiff, so it doesn't vibrate. Okay, so the... So um, this side vibrates, this is, side doesn't. Okay, so the scale of tympany doesn't vibrate as much? I'm not talking about the scale, I'm talking about this membrane, this line. Okay. Okay. This line, this blue line vibrates. Mm -hmm. This blue line doesn't so much. Okay. What's that line called? Do you know, or do we not know um, that? I, it's the tympanic. Uh, sorry, because that's the tympanic membrane. Um, it's. Scalotympany. No. The vestibular membrane. I'm just like throwing stuff out. I don't really. Tympanic know. membrane. Okay. I believe is what it's called. Okay. It would be. So scala tympani and the tympanic membrane? It's the tectoral membrane. No, no, not tectoral. Basilar. It's under the basilar, but... Oh, yeah. okay. It doesn't Don't worry about it. it. it doesn't Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. It looks like it's saying the... Oh, no, you're right. Sorry. Just kidding. Go ahead. Okay. Sorry, stop. So this... Basically what I'm saying is this is vibrating into this area, but this doesn't vibrate into this area. Okay. 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 The sound vibrates this thing, so this area gets vibrated. But even when it comes back through here, it doesn't go that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is the timpani more of like sound absorption, like the extra of it? Yeah. I guess you could think of it that way. I wouldn't say sound, I would say vibration absorption. Okay. And that's going to be released at the round window. Okay. Then where does okay. it go? After the round, it's air after that. Oh, okay. Um, it vibrates that air, and that air is equalized through the auditory tube. This tube right there. Okay. Mm. Cool. Okay. Okay. Can I zoom in? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is inside of here, okay? That's the little teeny picture right there. This is the tectoral membrane. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. This, what is this called? Basilar membrane. Uh huh. And what are these? The hairs. The hairs. So there's hair cells. Yeah. Okay. We got hair cells right here. Mm -hmm. On top of the hair cells, what do we have? Cilia. Stereocilia. 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 Gotcha. Okay. 
So what happens? So this is endolymph, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. The endolymph vibrates and it vibrates the basilar membrane. The basilar membrane either pushes these up or pulls them down depending on its vibrations. Okay? Mm -hmm. Which affect the stereocilia. However, before I look at the stereocilia, this inner line of cells, because there's a bunch of them, mm -hmm. that is the guy that's going to go tell you that you hear something. Okay. Whereas these three outer ones are not for hearing. For sensitivity of hearing? So this is an efferent path, a afferent pathway, and these are going to be efferent pathways. Mm -hmm. So they're the ones that do stuff. Um, they help amplify and tune the sound. Tuning is what you probably were told in class. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, afferent signal, then efferent signal on those guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.